So you are a leader, which means you are in charge of the care, nurturing, and support of a group of people. And one of them has just come to you in the midst of a crisis. What do you do? Well, in this video, we're gonna share five strategies to support an employee who's in the midst of a crisis. Coming right up. Now we know leading is difficult. We know it's hard, but it's also what we signed up for. So in that moment, when that employee comes to you in the midst of a personal, professional, emotional crisis, how will we be there for them? So strategy number one, care. Care deeply about what it is that they need to share with you. And in that moment of care, what does that look like? What does that sound like? That's actually stopping, that's pausing, that's honoring what it is that they're going through, honoring what it is that they are stopping your day and theirs to share this issue with you. So that's being present, that's being connected, that's trying to deeply, deeply understand who they are as a human being and valuing who they are and what they do. That's care. Strategy number two, listen. Listen? Yes, listen. Listening can be difficult for us as leaders. Personal, personal challenge always, always, always is listening. Not because I don't care and not because I don't want to listen, but in many ways I am, and as many leaders are, we're hardwired to solve problems as they come which means that the moment that that employee starts to share and starts to talk, as we're hearing, we're starting to diagnose, we're starting to problem solve, we're starting to put together thoughts in our head of how we can fix this problem. And there is a time for that. It's gonna come in the later steps of this framework. But in that moment, listen longer, stay connected, let the employee have their tape run out. Let them tell you everything that they need to tell you before you speak, before you act, before you probe, before you question. Listen longer. Help them process it by letting them get it all out. It's a hard strategy. It's a hard thing to do, but it's really, really important. So listen longer. Strategy number three. Now it's a moment where we want to connect on that human level, on that really that deep, deep seated level. Demonstrate empathy and compassion. So what does that look, feel and sound like? Well, empathy is trying to show that person in that moment that you may have experienced this similar issue. You have some lived reality, some lived experience that connects, that gives you some level of understanding. Share that, show that, demonstrate that. And then compassion, getting in and valuing and honoring the lived experience that they're going through and that they're sharing with you. Be a compassionate person. Feel with them, feel alongside them. Those are the things that we have to do as we're helping folks to navigate these challenges and these issues. Which leads us to strategy number four, and that is assess. So now you've done steps one, two, and three, demonstrated care, you've listened longer, You've worked to be empathetic and compassionate about the circumstance and situation. And now you can begin to assess what are the resources, the systems, the structures, the solutions that you may be able to offer to that employee. And now you want to get really concrete on, I know I can do these things to support you. And here's how I'm going to provide those things to you going through that assessment phase. Once you have built that plan with your employee, then you can move to strategy number five, which is action and follow-up. So what does action and follow-up, what does that look like? That looks like 
taking those resources, taking those strategies, taking those solutions, and putting them to work. Giving clear guidance, giving clear direction about how now those things that you have listened and assessed and developed together, how they might add to the ability for that employee to solve the problem. And after they've taken action, then the most important part of this, back to the leadership lens, is the follow-up. Well, what's the follow-up? The follow-up is three strategies that you might incorporate to figure out how the employee's doing after you meet. Strategy number one is send a text. Send a follow-up, just a follow-up message. Check in 24, 36, 48 hours after you've met, after you've developed the plan. Send that text and see how they're doing. I'm just checking in, following up on our conversation, wondering how things are going. Please keep me in the loop. Let me know how I can continue to help. Quick text message take you no more than 20 or 30 seconds. Second strategy, a phone call. I know that in the crazy fast times of technology advancing and short messages and, 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 and ways to immediately communicate, but a phone call is still a extremely powerful use of ability to connect, to develop a relationship. A phone call feels good to receive. So if you make that phone call, again, within that 24, 48 hour period, just to check in, it will have a monumental effect and impact on the employee as they're likely still navigating the challenge. And then the third strategy, be intentional. Put a message or put a uh, note on your calendar to have a follow-up meeting, maybe within three to five days after you've met to bring the employee back. Again, to engage and connect and make sure that their needs are being met. That develops trust, that develops relationships. Because at the end of the day, that's why we lead, to help people be better. Our job as leaders is to create environments where other people can thrive. In my case, little people, kids, students, scholars, and big people, teachers, principals, assistant superintendents, etc. But that's my mission. A mission that I am on is to develop as many leaders to support and nurture and care for others as possible. So if you've gotten value out of this video, hit the like button. And if you like the messages that we're sharing, subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment. Leave us a question. We'd love to answer it. We'd love to engage with you. We'd love to share and create more and more authentic value for the people that this information can serve. So we're looking forward to continuing to share these insights, to share these tips, and to continue to give you leadership and strengths-based advice. It's always an honor and a privilege to serve a community, and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thank you so much and be well, everyone.